welcome back to my kitchen today i will be showing you what we made for dinner so we had mashed potatoes and chicken and a sauce so i'm just going to show you how i marinated the chicken i added some paprika some salt some chicken stock powder some ginger powder some garlic powder um no not garlic powder some um, pepper flakes and then some freshly chopped garlic and then i just mixed everything together i'm going to mix it and set it aside to marinate you can cook it immediately or you can put it in the fridge for about maybe 30 minutes sometimes you can leave it overnight if you have the time but we're going to eat this immediately so i just wanted to marinate it just for a few minutes while we're preparing the rest of the ingredients for my mashed potatoes, I'm going to use Irish potatoes. In Nigeria, I think we majorly have two types of potatoes, which is Irish potato and then sweet potatoes. I'm cutting this into small chunks so that it is easier to cook and so that it kind of cook uniformly. Mashed potatoes is one of my favorite recipes. If you've been on this channel long enough, you know that I love me a good mashed potatoes. So I'm going to show you how I make mine today. You can find the full recipe for this mashed potato in my digital cookbook. It is called A Time to Eat. The link to download it will be in the description box below. Now that the potatoes are chopped, I'm going to put them into a bowl. I will add some water, I'll add some salt and allow it to cook till it is tender. While that is cooking, I have a pan with some vegetable oil. I'm adding some sliced onion and I'm just going to fry it till it softens. Next, I'll add some curry powder and some fresh rosemary, <laughs> aka Christmas leaves. <laughs> and I'm just going to mix everything together. I really love the flavor and aroma of fresh rosemary. Next, I have some tatashe and pepper mixture. So there's no um, tomatoes, just tatashe and pepper mix. I use it to make pepper sauce and I'm just going to make a quick sauce. I've added some salt, some chicken stock powder, and I'm adding bell peppers that I sliced into thin strips. doesn't take long to cook so I'll just set it aside and now we're going to air fry this chicken I've been using my air fryer a lot lately <laughs> typically I would like boil the chicken or fry it, but this is a way I love to make it right now and it is fast it is convenient so I, I just love it The air fryer heats up very fast and it has its own setting for chicken and that's like 27 minutes for 180 um, degrees and I'm just going to leave it there and allow it to cook. Halfway through air frying, I'm going to flip it just to make sure they're cooking evenly. The 
Next, I go back to the potatoes. They are tender now. I'm just going to transfer it to the sieve and then just drain the water out of it. And next, we're going to begin the process of the mashing. In the same pan, I'm going to add some cooking cream. You can add milk or I want a cooking cream to make it richer. And then I'm going to add more rosemary, a lot of garlic and then some butter. I'm using salted butter so there's no need for me to add extra salt. And I'm just going to mix everything till it just boils a bit. After a while, I take out the rosemary and then we're going to begin the process of mashing the potato. I'm using this potato masher <laughs> that I've had for a while now and I use it basically only to mash potatoes. <laughs> so you just put the potato in it and then you press it together and it gives you really smooth results. Once that's done, I'm just going to use a spatula to mix everything together so that it is well combined. how nice and fluffy my mashed potato is it was so so yummy you guys now the chicken is done and it is really crispy and then we're just going to plate our food so I put the mashed potatoes I put the sauce and I put the chicken on it and it was amazeballs <laughs> It was so filling, so yummy. It was what I was craving. And I'm so happy I can create whatever I'm craving, basically. I hope you like this recipe and I hope you give it a try. If you do, tag me on social media. I would love to see it. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.